Okay, so I know this is a pretty old school and archaic way to make a video, but I'm doing it because um, I want it to um, seem authentic because it is authentic. And so I don't want to do anything that would make someone think like, oh, that's just photoshopped or something like that. So I just have an iPhone on a tripod and I'm filming my computer screen. And when you run a YouTube channel, this is what your dashboard looks like. It shows you subscribers and uh, a bunch of other stuff. So at the moment, uh, in case you're curious, I'm making $160 a month over a 28 day period. And um, anyway, what I thought was really interesting is I was looking through some stuff. So here's my um, most viewed normal videos. And I noticed that uh, both this toolbox organizer video and this Hennessy hammock video uh, had roughly the same amount of views, about 11,000. Okay, and basically in this, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. In this toolbox video, I basically show how you can take um, scraps of wood and drill holes in them and store your sockets. And in this Hennessy hammock video, I show basically all the things that I've learned over the years of sleeping in hammocks. Now, I'm not sponsored. I don't have affiliate links. Amazon wouldn't even let me into their affiliate link program. So the only way I make money at all through my YouTube activities is through the ads. And as I just showed you, that was $160 a month. So when I click on the Hennessy hammock one, um, there's nothing in the description. There's no links. There's no nothing. And I went to analytics and um, was pleasantly surprised to see that this video has made me $45, which kind of blows me away. Um, I did this YouTube thing kind of uh, as a side uh, interest and at the suggestion of a friend. And um, I was out camping with my family and just thought, you know, I have four hammocks set up right now. I could show all the things that I've learned. So anyway, $45 for 11,000 views. Kind of interesting. Now, you go back and you go to another video with 11 with almost well actually it has even more views 11,500 views a couple more and you look at the analytics and i've made 9 cents isn't that interesting and um so one of the things that you can see in your videos is you can see what's called um an rpm right here so this is basically how much money you make for every thousand views. And you can see that I only make a penny. So that's a really crappy RPM. And in the other one, I'll show you now. Um, analytics. Oh no, up here revenue. You can see that I'm making $4.09. And I just find that amazing. So basically the, what's behind it is that um, there are manufacturers who um, are retailers, whatever, who want to sell outdoor gear like hammocks. Uh, probably not Hennessy. I've never seen them advertised, but, you know, uh, backcountry or whatever. And so they basically are willing to pay Google and YouTube a relatively high fee to put an advertisement in front of this video. Now, I don't choose the advertisements. Most of the time, I don't even know what they are because I'm not watching my own videos. Um, but yeah, so basically they think, well, these people are going to watch a video about how to set up a hammock, but then afterwards they might want to buy a hammock or maybe they'll want to buy that North Face shirt that he's wearing or something like that. Whereas this video, and I, maybe it has a little something to do with um, the length. I mean, this is four minutes versus 27, but I don't think so. I think it has to do with this video. Basically what I tell people to do is cut up scraps of wood and drill holes in it and put their sockets in there and don't buy expensive sockets. And so what's so interesting is there's just not that many advertisers who want to put their advertisement in front of a video like this. And the reason I'm making this video is because one of the things that I have strived for on YouTube and that I'm afraid to lose is sort of my integrity or the appearance of my integrity or the appearance of authenticity. Um, because as soon as you start getting sponsored or you start doing affiliate links, um, it's not that easy to keep an unbiased perspective on things. You know, once you're going to be getting, you know, 15 cents, uh, from Knipex every time they, uh, you buy, someone buys their pliers, all of a sudden you're going to start talking about them differently. And I'm just kind of convinced that most people, uh, including myself are unable to distinguish bias 
um, you know, in situations like this. And so I don't have any sort of affiliate links. I don't recommend any products. I just basically show you a little bit of my life. And sometimes that life involves expensive products like Knipex and Hennessy hammocks. And sometimes it involves scrap wood that you can get out of the trash can. And um, anyway, I just think that's really interesting. And I would encourage you as a viewer to, um, you know, scrutinize a little bit the YouTube chat content that you're watching. Um, listen for cues that someone is sponsored or doing affiliate links. And I'm not saying that that makes them a bad guy, not at all. Um, if I could do affiliate links, then, you know, I, I would consider it. In this case, I can't. So, you know, I'm, I'm, it's not even like I've made a noble choice. I don't even have a choice to make. But um, I do think that the world needs honesty and transparency and authenticity. And so I just want to kind of raise people's awareness um, of the specific ways that it's being degraded in our society. So anyway, that's kind of a, uh, a peek behind the curtain of a YouTube channel, not a very big one, um, but a growing one. And so um, hopefully you found that interesting. If not, uh, give it a big thumbs down and go watch a different YouTube channel. Otherwise, have an awesome evening.